All right, it's 7,800 homebrew time, so let's dig into it. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Rich or Rich and Fun for Five. That's right. We are back at it on the Atari VCS with Blockum Sopum Sockum 7,800 by John Hancock. How efficient are you really? Use your wits and logic. To clear the blocks out of each stage, each level will give you a new challenge and put your critical thinking skills to the test. There are 29 challenging block puzzles to solve with three skill levels to choose from. Rated E for everyone, compatible with this modern controller right here and the classic controllers back there. It was $8.99 at launch, which is what I paid for it. So let's dive in to Blockum Sockum 7800, find out what's going on, and see if we can find the fun. Let's go. That Atari 7800 boot thing. It's good. The Immortal John Hancock. Based off the original Genesis version. Okay. Cool. Let's go to options. Clear scores. TIA. Adjust screen. Show points. Return. Okay. We're going to go with normal because that's what it says... That's what it starts with. What are the instructions? Can destroy, destroy any color blocks. They change color. The first block they hit. If all of the color blocks are destroyed, your block will become a star block. Solid blocks can only destroy the same color blocks, but they swap color with a block in a run when a new color is hit. When there are not any valid moves, press down and the alt button. John will give up. When you give up, on a run or run out of tosses, the game ends. If you have enough points, you'll buy a continue. You pay with continues. Thousand points on easy, twenty five hundred on normal, and five thousand on hard. Okay. Blocks start at fifteen points. They double on runs, up to seventy five points per block destroyed. Okay. Um, when an Atari box is present, John will comment on your run. He may not. He'll let you know. When you score a max combo, voice is absent when using 7800 GD with break menu enabled. I don't know what that means. All right. All right, all right. Okay. It seemed a little complicated, but we're just going to see. Oh, okay. No tosses. Not enough points to continue. All right, let's try again. The goal is 400, I think. this oh sweet that was pretty cool not enough points i had 885 all right what am i doing what am i doing wrong is this this is a green box or oh okay Oh, I did it. All right, I think I know what's going on. All right. All right. 
So there's this. I go this way. I don't think I went the right way. Yeah, I know tosses. Oh, did, it goes, puts me all the way back to the beginning? Oh, that's silly. This way. No tosses. Oh, uh, I didn't get enough to do it. Go back to the beginning. Definitely this way. Do I just go this way again? Oh no. enough points all right well that seems to be enough of looking at this one let's go to the wrap-up and see what we can see here so that was blockum sockum 7800 on the atari vcs how do we feel on about this one is this a case for certified good times is this a yes the fun was found is this a yeah but or is this a not great well i believe that we are in the just making it to yes the fun was found i'm going to tell you why yes there is a very detailed instruction manual and yes it is a 7800 game that is a pretty complex puzzler as far as the programming stuff goes so it is requisite that you read a whole bunch before you play this one so in that sense i it's still fun 
I'm still having a good time and I love puzzle games. So that, that all of that, you have to take that whole thing with the, the rich puzzle game grain of salt, right? So, but it might not be for you is what I'm saying. As, as That's what I'm saying. Like if you're just kind of into puzzle games, I don't know. This one might be a little bit of a miss. And the only reason why it might be a little bit of a miss is because I was having a hard time trying to figure out, okay, the path wants me to go and use the arrows to do the thing, all right? I found the arrows a little late. Okay, no problem. I'm okay with that in a puzzle game. But then if I'm supposed to get to a certain amount of points, in the first two or three levels, it should be pretty moderate at the worst in order to get there and pretty easy at best to get there through the first couple stages. And then you start adding those elements, right? We were talking about that in the tile game. We talk about that every time I, I I do a puzzle game, right? I'm not saying that the you know teacher puzzle game person needs to appear and magically like walk you through the first ten stages, but there should be something that like gives you that satisfaction of oh I I figured this out without necessarily having to read the instructions and I just did it. And now it works for me. And that's cool. And that's fun. And then that pushes it all the way up to the top of yes, is the fun was found into maybe certified good times because you're getting rewarded for figuring everything out kind of on your own, right? Now, I'm sure if I spent more, you know, 10 more minutes reading all of the things, we'd be okay. You know, we'd be all right. Everything would be fine. And it'd be great times. But that's not where we were. Like we were, we, I didn't read all of that stuff. So maybe there was something that was missing and I didn't get the full experience um, from playing this game as maybe I might have. So that's me though. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of Blockum Sockum 7800. Did you guys play the Genesis version? Is it a little more clear? Is there a tutorial in that one that they, they had to shave off because of memory constraints or whatever on the 7800 version? Let me know. Let me know what's going on there on that version or you know whether or not you guys liked Blockum Sockum at all or whatever. Always love talking to you guys about that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to be still play this. I'm going to, I'm going to give it back and you know, I'm going to play some more of this game and we're going to figure it out. So I think, I think it'll be, it'll wind up being something that I'll, I can grow into, but that first impression, which is the whole point of fun for five is like, we're kind of like mm, teetering on the edge of yeah, but, but we're not quite there. Cause I still did have fun, have some fun throwing up those blocks and getting the combos and all that kind of fun stuff. So again, let me know down below in the comments, what you guys think about that. And we'll now that we're at the end of a video here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions, we got to do one thing and one thing only, and that is thank every single member of the Good Times Club. So let's do that right now. Let's thank the Ever Canadian, Crimson Cross, Curge Games, Chris Westerman, Fan of Fiction, Skeletrax, Lloyd Arjan, Papa P, the Intellivision Gamer, Ken LeCure, Mr. Schuer, John Willig, Gunsy20, and Immortal Sojourn. Thank you guys all so much for your support, for hanging out with us, for being awesome members of the Good Times Club, pushing us to do really cool things supplying us with awesome things like 1080p StreamYard, which you're watching right now, and also goodies. All right. Do you want to be a member of the Good Times Club? If I could speak, do you want to be a member of the Good Times Club? Well, you can just hit the button right there. Hit the join button. Come on in. Join us. Um, if you're watching us on the ether and you've gotten this far, thank you so much. Hit. Make sure you hit the likes or the dislikes or the up, down, left, right, or whatever you want to do. Um Make sure you leave a comment. Hit the subscribe button in case you want to see more more content. We're, we're doing every single game on the Atari VCS as it comes out. So, or a little bit after it comes out, as in the case of this one and a couple more. So, but all Atari VS, VCS games will be played on this channel. So if you're liking that, hit that subscribe for more. And until next time, my friends, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys.
rtsc.bakeitcecream.com.